few years ago, we made this video and it got over 113,000 views. This truck's gone through so many changes in the last two years. So we decided let's do an updated video because there's a lot to cover and the truck doesn't even look the same anymore. Let's get started. I'm coming in. Hot. About two years ago, I did a video on Alex's truck. Over your 2017 mm -hmm. GMC. Dude, you've done a lot of stuff to it. And I will have to say, this looks like a completely different truck. So we're doing an updated video. We're gonna do a quick, complete recap of Alex's truck. What all has changed? Do you even remember what was done in that video? Somewhat, so Alex is gonna walk us through on what all changed since that video since that video did so well. Figured we'd do an update video. Give us a complete walk around of everything that's changed Has since that video. Has See, like legit. I don't think I had these on there. Did I? I don't think so, cause you had the factory bumper and you didn't do that until your aftermarket. After the move bumper. Yep. So these are the Mojave Parks uh, spike shackles. And I built a shackle mount that replaced the factory GM mount for these and powdered them black. Just because I had the move bumper on there, but I hated the move bumper. It just didn't look right on these trucks. I wanted to keep the shackles, so I made my own mount. Color matched the headlights myself, which I would not do again. Pain in the ass. Yep. Since then, I had those ditch lights on here. Oh, yeah, you ditched them. I had them. a lot of people said they wanted me to ditch them, so I ditched them. Color matched cab lights. I had the recon smoked ones, but I went with color matched. Cab lights. You did cab lights, too? Yeah, cab lights. Dude, I'm scared to do cab lights. It was scary. Yeah, I don't want to cut into my roof. It's not just it's not circle holes, it's square holes you have to cut. Yep. So but they, they turned out really good. Just recently got the boost sequential switchbacks. I had a switchback, but I want a sequential. New pan and mirror caps. Um, in the last video I saw that I had that eight inch super lift strut spacer. The coil overs with a spacer. It does have the up aftermarket upper control arms. Um, super lift. It drops the differential full eight inches, so my CV angles are actually almost parallel. If you look at them. Oh yeah, that looks good. So I got a new strut with a new coil. Got it powdered white. I don't think I have the Cognito upper arms. Probably not. Maybe, maybe not, but Cognito arms with the uh, kryptonite tie rod ends. Well, and uh, you did something else to the suspension too, because it sits taller than before. Oh yeah, so it's at, the strut is at eight inches, because it's a seven to nine strut. And then I put a two inch rough country spacer underneath. Look over here, that's the two inch leveling kit. And what we did was we removed the strut and it was set at nine and we changed it to eight. So overall this truck is at 10 inches because recently got the Versa Tire 36 1450s on Archon 24 by 14 Alexanders. Oh boy, what we got going on over here? Archons, some Versa Tires. So this tire and wheel combo is kind of cool because it's true directional and at the same time, it is the tires themselves are true directional as well. So you can see the spokes going that way on that one and then the spokes going the other way on this one. This is for the driver side. This is for the passenger side. And also, you want your tread going this way. There you go. So that is pretty neat. But uh, keep in mind, if you're buying Archons and Versa tire, these are going to be directional tires and wheels. And we're, of course, on our quad row wheel lights. Yes. Yep. Where uh, can you get the quad row wheel lights? At jwmotorsportsco.com. And your shirt? And my hat. And your All hat. the same place. Yep. One stop shop. LED door handles, switchback handles off the Escalade. And then just recently, two days ago or yesterday, mm -hmm. got the step pad from Next Level Mats for my amp steps with the AD logo that JW made for me. I don't know if I had traction bars. I think you did. I probably did. did. So traction bar. Traction bars in case it wasn't there. Recon smoke tail lights. 
And actually, at the house, I have the factory tail lights that I took apart and color matched too. Oh, dude, those look pretty so good I, too. I switch them out every now. Uh, yesterday, I put on my new color match tail lights from MW Customs. I tried it myself, but I couldn't do it. Gen Y hitch. Custom license driven. plate. Yep. And then in the bed, the conductor special two gallon tank kit. But then last two weeks ago, I put in another two gallon. So I have dual tanks. They feed off of each other. The compressor's in the toolbox. So it runs down, feeds both tanks. Then that hose on the far left of the left tank feeds the onboard air. So I have onboard air plus the train horns. You got six horns, don't you? Six horns. So it came up, with, don't do it yet. We have a five gallon air tank for my train horns. Through horn blasters, two com by air compressors, four wake tower speakers, and a whole separate audio system back here. Color match third brake light. Top three logos in Georgia. Mm -hmm. And in South Carolina. And in Carolina. I don't know if I have these. I don't think you did. Custom emblems through made event emblems. Uh, put my Instagram username and a diamond. Yeah, I got rock lights. I got two for a wheel well of the hyper white. I don't do any of the color stuff. There you go, Cam. Since then, we've put, I've converted to JW Motorsports Co. Rock Lights. I got 24 premiums. New one's coming. He's about to get more. The big ones. The premium pluses. And I felt, I felt like this would be the perfect truck to put on to use as advertising. Yes. Currently, I have a lot of parts, but I have two uh, 10 JLs in the rear but I have a new box coming for four Sundown 8s so and a new 1600 watt amp, so that's going to be new. Uh, what else on you? You painted the flares too. Oh yeah, painted fender flares. JP painted them for us. Yep. Local paint guy. I still got to powder coat the bolts white. Yeah. Uh, white seat belts. Oh yeah. All interior trim is white. White seat, seat belt. Seat belt is white. That's extra. Oh, and the headliner. And oh, yes. Yes, which I think we're going to do that on Stan's truck and my truck. Yes. I think that's all I've done. And then we still have to do the cold air inductions, exactly. cold air intake, which we'll probably knock out this week. Well, um, we, well you got new headers. Oh, new headers, Custom Catalyst tune. Y pipe, uh, straight back through a Borla in and out exhaust. Gibson dual exhaust. I got black tips. I'm getting them power coated next week white. The TriStar off-road exhaust tip. And then I got it tuned through Vengeance Racing in Atlanta. Yep. Because before you just had a little can tune. I had from, a little Diablo Sport. Yeah, I mean, which, it worked it was what I was tuner. doing. But the headers and the custom tune really opened this thing up. The little spikes on the grill. That's probably new. I, yeah, maybe. And then you put that little never satisfied. Never satisfied plate on the front. It says Super Lift logo. CV axles angles are still good. Yeah, I think it looks good. 11, it would have been good too. I should have done 11 because I still rub. That's a lot of stuff that happened in the last two years. He had 22 by 12 XDs and Grenades, some 35s. 35s. Cheap Chinese, Haida, Mud Champs, 35, 12 and a half. You got 10,000 miles on them? 10,000. They still look pretty good. They got a good sound to them and they ride smooth. They balance, they balance out really well. Yep, so he's got 24 by 14 with 36, 1450 Versa tires now. And then he powder coated the coils on the, the struts. Let me see if I can think of anything that's different since then. A lot of color match. A lot of color Headlights, match. Headlights, taillights, cab lights, mirrors. A lot of color match has been happening. Right, because before it was really a lot of white and black. That was a the theme, like the Stormtrooper look. Now it's turning more into just like white, clean, Perfect. color matched look. About to add more rock lights. Did you do anything different with the train horns? Since I then? probably only had four. Four? And the way it was mounted, probably flush mounted. Yeah. So now, you can see through the back, I got six. And they're all angled down where you can see all the bells at the end. Oh, and I powdered the diff cover. Okay. I think that's about it. Let's get some dronies. Oh, 
Dakota, before we go to dronies, I forgot to show you guys under the hood. Here's a clip from Daytona 2020, but I don't think much has changed since then. It's a gasser. <laughs> it's a gasser. Oh, shoot. Dude, that's nice. Dude, I could have used that when I did my turbo. Yeah. I took, like I took the, the fire blanket down, yeah. mount it, flush mount, those are bed lights. Dang. And then it's on a mercury switch, so when it tilts up, it turns on. Yeah, it's what? got like a magnet in mm -hmm. Yeah. And then that's the relay panel I built, so all my accessories run off of that. Wow, that's nice. All right, keep in mind, guys, he's a nurse. He's, he's not like a mechanic by trade or and anything like got, that. I think, four gauge running from that one to this one, so I can run this one dead without affecting the starting battery. Nice. And then... You got two batteries? Yep, right here. I got a marine battery right here. And then this this powers my amp in the bed too. So I got a system in the bed. Another thing to keep in mind, I want to say everything on this truck was done by him, except for like balancing and mounting the tires. Yeah, I saw the machine. Yeah, I mean, he did the lift and everything himself. I just realized something. Can you guess which truck I had at the time when we filmed this episode? I had just gotten my 2011 LML Duramax, in which that truck went from looking like this to like this. I've done a full one year transformation video on that truck, so make sure to go check it out and let me know what you think. Like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs>